It's really smart, it's well written. Um, it's It's got a noir quality, which I, like Chinatown is one of my all-time favorite films. And then it also, it has, you know, I don't want to spoiler it, but uh, there's some vampires involved. So it takes two things that I really love, which is genre stuff and fantasy, and uh, and mixes it with this real kind of L.A. 1940s noir vibe. And uh, I just, I kind of fell in love with it. As an actor, um, when you get a script and, you know, you, you immediately go to the dialogue and you're like, oh, this is clunky, this doesn't make sense. How are we going to make this work? This just It's just thoughts, like, sort of, you know, strung together and none of it really connects. And then you read something like, you know, like a Buffy script or you read Blood Kiss and you're like, oh, this person knows how people talk. You know, they know they know how to tell a story, number one. And, and each character has an arc and, and, and um, a, a, like a life outside of, like you could, see, you could take every character in Blood Kiss and put them into their own film. You know, even the small, the smallest, like just couple of line characters, like they're real, they're 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 fleshed out, they're well drawn, and then you know, like I said, you add the dialogue to that, and you know, that's how you attract actors. You give them good dialogue to say, and and Michael is very very adept at that. Yeah.